Hey friends, we're back with a really cool series. We interview a lot of the fundraising nonprofits that are participating in the human race. And we're also interviewing some of our amazing sponsors that have stood by us through this wild pivot pandemic uh, change that we are implementing for the human race and good health chiropractic is one of them so welcome Amanda thanks Jordan y'all been amazing oh thank you yeah seriously you've done an amazing job pivoting team effort it's been wild so good health chiropractic which I also go to and we run into each other quite a bit so it's so fun to see virtually as well uh, tell us where you're located what kind of services you offer what your company values are um, just how you operate what is good health chiropractic all about yes um great questions so we're located by kickback jacks on battleground um we're technically seven battleground court right next door to rough housing the doggy daycare and across from like what used to be and still kind of is the lamborghini dealership yes um <laughs> we have a first floor suite underneath piedmont triad insurance and we um we're a chiropractic acupuncture <laughs> popping we do some other therapies um, so whether you have a musculoskeletal complaint, we love to work with runners, active, young adults. Um, and a lot of people that come to us with, you know, maybe a tight hamstring, an Achilles heel, plantar fasciitis or whatever, they realize that like, not only do those usually go away pretty quickly, but they also are able to meet their personal records. Um, most of our patients meet their PRs under care for the, you know, their, their best PRs um, because it helps with your bio biomechanical efficiency. So the more effort you push out of your body, you get more oomph for that. So you're able to, you know, push the ground harder for each, um, you know, for each force that you try to exert. And that makes um, athletes like perform even better. So um, we love working with athletes. Dr. Huff was a personal trainer. That's actually where I met him. Is <laughs> being a personal. He was a personal trainer at the uh, UNCG gym before it became like the Kaplan Center, when it was the Kraplin Center. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's so fancy now. <laughs> I know it's so fancy now. It's so fancy. Um, and he, we he graduated as the best chiropractor in his graduating class, the most selfless, most competent, most educated. Um, I know I'm so proud of him, but, and so he got to, to serve as the three best associateships in the United States. And, um, you know, we looked at those practices and saw what was working for patients, the kind of business practices, some of them we like really like took a lot from, and some we didn't really agree with like the ethics of it. So we knew that we wanted to eventually open our own place, um, that, you know, treated people like our hometown like the best that we we possibly could and um so that's what good health greensboro um is and we don't do as much acupuncture but um but we do a lot of chiropractic um cupping other therapies and um our, our values our goal is to 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 heal greensboro from the inside out and we have a large vision beyond just the four walls of our clinic but being able to make chiropractic accessible to every modern Greensboro family, including those that aren't able to pay for these services, which I've, we've never seen a chiropractic model do this. Um, and it's, we have debt to work off <laughs> before we can like start playing with these models, but um, that's a part of our mission. And so some of that goes into, you know, how we try to serve um, when something, you know, when our community goes through something like COVID-19. Um, I don't know if you want us to talk about that. Yes, please. So thank you for all of that. I love that. So, I mean, you serve a wide range. I know that um, personally, I have a, a baby in here. And so it's... I love pregnant moms <laughs> and their babies. Yes. So it's nice to you guys help mamas. Um, just babies. Every age. Um, mm -hmm. I, I know I've been in um, in the past where there have been kids that might have like learning disabilities yeah. and you help them. I mean, so it's just, it's so, it's just a really, really cool office. Um, 
you guys are, it's, it's really fun to come see you guys and your plant game is on point. So if you're plant people, you have to check out all these live plants. I don't know how they do this, but it's really a beautiful office. A great job. Great job. Thank you. I've killed more than you see right now, but you know, selective. <laughs> yeah. They look good. They look good. Yep. So yes, you mentioned we're in a pandemic. Um, that affects small businesses in a huge way. What you guys offer is absolutely essential. So if you can talk a little bit about how you've had to pivot and just how you are serving the community based on your values and, and how much you care about Greensboro um, mm. and volunteering. I know you guys are doing a ton of volunteering and helping healthcare workers right now. So talk a little bit about just how you're pivoting, how you're serving uh, people that are that are still in need at this time um, and and then some and beyond um, yeah I mean we're doing our best we just during the pandemic we met our two-year anniversary so for most two-year-old businesses I know it's very it's exciting it's really exciting to us um, <laughs> on our first year anniversary we had like a big party and um, we like distributed some of our profits like in the name of like patients that met like personal goals and overcame like major health struggles and you know just like sweet things um but we couldn't have a party this year <laughs> um but we're well we're still like waiting to see how our business fares through this pandemic um and we will be um giving money back to organizations like the ywca um that helped like the most vulnerable of our community um, get through this. But um, yeah, so I guess first I'll address what you, what you kind of brought up first is that yes, we are an essential business and a lot of states, like some states, it, they don't have chiropractic businesses as essential. And especially when, you know, massage parlors are, um, or massage therapists have to shut down their practices. Um, people might wonder, you know, why is that? Well, there's a history of chiropractors serving during pandemics and actually chiropractors before we were known for back pain we were known for fighting um infectious disease specifically polio but wow really it's the you know people cannot believe the history of chiropractic but um yeah. they started as primary care doctors that didn't use drugs and um so people would go see them for um, ear aches and allergies and things like that and we still see people for that today and it's so shockingly effective, <laughs> um, but um, in 1918, when there was a Spanish flu um, pandemic, uh, people that saw a chiropractor survived 20 to 90 times better. Um, and they, yeah, it's, it's wild, but there's studies like in Oklahoma, um, medical doctors would be trying to save some of these cases and they you know, they just wrote off about 200 people. They were like, we cannot save them anymore. And the chiropractors were like, let us try. And um, one, uh, 19 out of 20 survived. So um, wow, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. Um, chiropractic works with the natural way that our bodies heal and kind of optimize their regulatory systems. So I mean, I don't think that we'd have the same, like if, if, if the standard of care were different and like chiropractors were called to serve like more, more actively during this pandemic, I don't think that there would be the same because medical science has come so far, especially with sterilization practices. So certainly we're not saying that chiropractic is the cure for this pandemic or that, um, you know, we'd be better than medical doctors or anything like that. Um, but there's a history and, um, and that's one of the reasons why chiropractic, um, offices like ours are, are ca categorized as essential and, um, that we help to take musculoskeletal cases away from urgent cares, emergent care. Um, and, um, when we had, cause I didn't even know that history of chiropractors and the survival rates with the Spanish uh, flu. I, I had heard about it a little bit, but um, didn't know like the survival rates. And so when I found that out, um, I was talking with David and I was like, you know, like who can we serve? Like trying to see what kind iteration of our business would be the best to serve our community. And we know that it would be outside the standard of care for us to open like a chiropractic hospital the way they did in 1918. Sure. But the people that are most at risk, like having their backs during this pandemic uh, seem to make the most Literally. sense. <laughs> literally <laughs> i'm punny we're both punny um so 
yeah, the frontline workers. And we just reached out to the hospitals. Sometimes um, there's not like super strong relationships between chiropractors and medical doctors, but we have enjoyed coordinating so many cases with them. Um, and we found Wesley Long and um, Moses Cohn to be extremely receptive. They both invited us, but then Wesley Long changed their visitation policies. So we didn't go and adjust their, their teams. But in the Moses Cone, we've been at the ER for the last eight weeks, every Thursday morning, uh, 6.30 to around 8 a.m. It's when they have um, their shift changes from the night workers to the day workers. Um, so we're able to see people after and before their shift. And um, every, every day we adjust, or every week, maybe around like 20 of their staff. Um, and yeah, so, I mean, we hope that we do that, you know, to help immune, immune function, to help them stay on their feet better, um, to lower the risk of, um, um, or lower the stress on their body. Um, but also, I mean, I think there's a, you know, a mentally palliative effect when like you feel that somebody is there showing up for you, like focusing on your body when yeah. theirs are on the line. Um, yeah. Well, good for you guys. I think that's amazing. Um, and it's been awesome to feel like we can actually do something. Yeah. Yeah. And I know more people would be doing that. Um, so we feel blessed. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, there's so many ways to step up and help and it's just finding them right mm -hmm. um and using your strengths and so i commend you guys for doing that and for and for reaching out and just continuing to help those in need and then also um supporting those that are also helping people in need every day so yeah they're awesome thank you for for doing that so at the human race normally um you guys would be a new sponsor this year and we would be at LaBauer Park and we'd be outside and you'd have this beautiful tent. You'd be adjusting all the racers. Yes. <laughs> so yes. it looks a little different this year and you guys have been amazing and again, stood by us and continue to sponsor. So we're really excited to announce that all the runners get some really cool coupons from you guys for some great services like, um, so we, we still haven't figured out what all the runners will get, but for the top award winners, they're going to get um, free acupuncture, cupping, um, or myofascial release sessions, depending on what they want. Um, and insurance makes it hard for us to offer like coupons because we're in network with like every major insurance company. So those are the therapies that lie outside of it. It's a, it's a technical point, but... We're trying to be as compliant as we possibly can in every way. And um, right. yeah. And, and I think we'll give like some goodie, like a stress ball or something to all the other runners. And we, we really, really appreciate everybody sticking with races like this. Like we need to feel united as a city and feel like um, great organizations like the volunteer center, like are still supported. They're, they're more necessary than ever before. So we really, really thank you for making this, like still such a fun, engaging, lively event. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. And staying active right now, it's hard, right? I mean, it's just difficult to do, but it's just so good for us in so many ways. And this it has is always been really function good. huge. Yeah. So there are, there's a fun run, walk, roll. We've always had folks come out um, with strollers and wheelchairs and we, there have been um, deaf blind runners that have had guides help them through the race before. So it looks uh -huh. a little bit different. We're doing it alone, but together virtually. Uh, but yeah, getting out and staying active is huge. And so absolutely, yeah. we want to encourage people to, and, and really, like you said, you said it so beautifully. I mean, this is really about the community coming together. Mm -hmm. um, and how cool is it that from June, wait, hold on. <laughs> 13th through the 19th um, that you can race anywhere and there's so many fun awards and then on Green the is a gorgeous city. 20th this is hard to do <laughs> on the 20th uh, you can tune in live and um, get to hang out with us for a really cool award ceremony so uh, we're excited about that and there's gonna be music and all kinds of goodies but um, tell everyone where to find you where they can make appointments where they can find out more information about the amazing good health <laughs> yes, um, goodhealthgreensboro.com if, um, if you want to look at our webpage. Um, but the best way to reach us for appointments is 336 
509-409-4963. Um, you can also Google us. We have tons of Google and Facebook reviews. Um, if you have any other questions, call us. You can even text that number, 336-509-4963. Um, and you're welcome to email me personally if you feel more comfortable. I'm Amanda at Good Health Greensboro, all spelled out, dot com. Awesome. Thank you. So many easy ways. Look, people, if you're, if you're loving isolation and you don't even want to talk to someone, you can just text. How about that? Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Well, anything else that you want to add, Amanda, before we... Um, just that, I mean, we love supporting runners. We love being there for you. We, we look forward to the day when we can like, you know, physically touch the public. Um, but until then, like, I really hope that like all of the runners feel like we are there for them. And if they need anything physically, like we are taking very strict precautions in our clinic um, to try to create as safe a space as possible. Um, but if you have any questions about that, any questions about what to do, um, stay running, stay active. It boosts your immune function significantly. Um, so we are humbled to be in a community of so many committed runners awesome. and walkers. Yes, yes, joggers, waggers, and rollers. rollers. Yes. <laughs> Any of that. Thank you so much, Amanda. It's always a pleasure hanging out with you. Yes, I love it, Thank you for your support and your sponsorship. Oh, thank See you. Everyone on the 20th. See you then. Bye.